The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. We live in a generation when people do not believe in themselves. We live in a generation where sometimes people doubt the greatness of a Yid. And maybe HaKadosh Baruch who gave the world a gift of Rav Chaim. Someone who would have been a Gadol Hadar 250 years ago, maybe even more than that. We lived with someone, and we lived with him, who was just as much a Malach as he was a human being, and he excelled at both. He was relatable, he was kind, he was loving, and he was the biggest Talmud Chacham that we knew. The Rabbi Nishalem is showing us, look at what a Yid can be. And how can someone look at Reb Chaim and not believe in the Rabbi Nishalem? I want to share with you one story. It's not a typical Reb Chaim story, but I think it has a beautiful message. One day, a boy who's about to become Bar Mitzvah comes to Reb Chaim. The father explains that the boy is terrified. He's put in many, many months of preparation to lane, to do daf taira, to read his bar mitzvah drasha, but he can't even get the words out of his mouth. He's terrified. And Rav Chaim told him the following. He says, do you have sisters? The boy didn't know what to say. He said, yes, I have sisters. Do your sisters have dolls? Yes, my sisters have dolls. The boy was tremendously confused, as was everyone else in the room. And Rav Chaim instructed him to do the following. He said, line them up. And when you line them up, speak to them. Lock the door and give your drasha. Lane, do avtaira. They're not going to laugh at you. They're not alive. And then when you get comfortable with that, call in your brothers and do the same to them. They're your brothers. You'll be comfortable. And finally... He said, maybe call in a friend, a best friend. He too will not laugh. You'll see that you have nothing to be afraid of. And that is exactly what happened. In one short conversation, the boy's fears were completely alleviated. And the boy performed beautifully. When you met Reb Chaim, very often you would leave with a smile. He showed us that we don't have to be afraid. Nothing is impossible. You can be able to finish Kola Terakula and you have nothing to fear. It's possible. Don't be afraid. Yes, we're going to live in a world without a Reb Chaim. It's terrifying. But it's possible. Every person will shoulder the burden. We will each learn more. And we will put our heart into it to have more lay for a fellow Yid. The Rabbi Nishal should bring a Nechama to Klal Yisrael. And in Yitzh Hashem very soon, the next God Hadar will emerge. And when he does, the Rabbi Nishal will send Mashiach Tzidkenu, B'mhei Ravi, Amenu, Amen. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org